Good morning, Iowa family. Uh, it's Sunday, um, and we are busy working still on the uh, power switchover. Um, the operations team right here behind me in the uh, what we call the aviation locker is uh, doing some of the work to bring cathodic protection online on a se separate circuit, as well as switch over our IT infrastructure so we can uh, hopefully shut off power sometime tomorrow or Tuesday, or shut off the majority of the power, which will create about a ten thousand dollars, seven to ten thousand dollar a month savings. Um, but during this two-week shutdown, it will save us probably five to six thousand dollars. With that said, I, I want to highlight a few things going on. Um, once again, that's the operations team that's focused on that. The security team once again came out in force today to support uh, our, our su support our operation and uh, make sure that the ship remains secure, especially on a cruise day like today. Um, the Norwegian Joy is actually in as well, dropping off passengers and bringing some out. Um, our accounting and finance team um, continue to do their work on uh, really looking for the looking into the SBA loan program or the potential for increasing our line of credit with our bank as well as uh, working with our insurance company on business interruption insurance. We're hoping um, that one or more of those come through as well, as well as your generous contributions and uh, we can remain um, really in, in a great place or a good place, not a great place, but a good place as we uh, plan to reopen March 28th. Um, I know the tour team is also working on uh, figuring out reopening March 28th and some of those operational procedures maybe reducing some of the folks on the guided tour program, um, ensuring uh, we continue our disinfecting routine and some of the other changes we can make to make it a safer um, place for both our guests and our crew and uh, our staff. Uh, development is uh, supporting your inquiries. I, we're getting a lot of inquiries of folks asking questions and so development's doing a great job of supporting that. Um, Jolene is our, our uh, sole remaining development staff member that uh, at the current time as we have furloughed the other folks um, for a couple weeks um, and she's, uh, she's the one working on supporting the campaign uh, for contributions while we're uh, closed for the next couple weeks. Um, in, with this video, if you're watching it on social media, I'm going to include a couple links as well. Um, a couple links of uh, some of the information I've been looking at. Um, you probably heard about flattening the curve. I think it's important to understand what that means. And so I'm going to include a link on that, as well as those staff members that may be Im impacted or even those followers impacted by uh, potential furloughs or uh, temporary unemployment or temporary layoffs. I'm going to include some links on that as well. So uh, with that being said, uh, and the links I include, by the way, are going to be more California-based. But with that being said, um, we truly appreciate your support and your contributions and, uh, during this closure and for all that you're doing to help spread our message uh, as we get ready to potentially reopen on March 28th, which is our goal. Have a uh, great day and take care.